get you. The view landed a left hook to the body. There's bullets, but look at this. It's got lights on, little lights on it. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be lights out. For David Tour, that's what's going to happen. International Super Middleweight Championship. Ah. Reese dropping his hands and showing Broner his head movement. <laughs> Shane and his and Ken. I don't give a about neither one of them. He about to fill it tomorrow. It's not a game. It's not a game. I'm here to play and tear his head off. Told him, he said, oh, you're going down. I said, this ain't no f***ing Rocky movie. This is reality, brother. You're about to get it. You can't see me. This is what's going to hit Shane Karen in his mouth. You understand that? Touch gloves to head the way to go. The final hey, instructions right there by Brian Vocali. Well, let's see. Ten. Big right hand there from Cameron. Cameron once held all those titles, would like to get it back. Nice. That left hand down. Let Cameron to work the body of Monty Barrett. There he got Ching down, trying to establish his base of power. Barrett goes back to the... Oh, good shot! That's going to be a slip, and it's not going to be a knockdown. Oh, uh, question that. Monty Barrett. Shane Cameron in the... Oh. Feeling is this is hard right hand by Lemieux. Rosado's not afraid to taste power shots. He believes he can take them. You to put in some offensive work himself. Good shot. Hard left hook. Wobbled Rosado. Looked in the corner. Good hard left hook again. And down goes Rosado. I think he Four. got hit in that left eye again. Five. There's no blood so far, but the swelling was big and immediate. And here goes Lemieux again. Big shot from Lemieux. And I was correct, it was the left to punch himself out because that could spell trouble. Rosado is tough, he's taking punishment. Good, he's got Lemieux going a little bit. Good now shot here from comes Lemieux. Lemieux with the right hand. Both exchange, but he's having success. That's the response, and he has. Yeah. Rosado waves him in, Lemieux says, All right, I mean, I'm gonna get you. No. Lemieux landed a left hook to the body. Trying to psychologically break Lemieux right now, Rosado. What a fight in Brooklyn. This is why the fans love Gabriel Rosado. Win, lose, or draw. To the fight. Rosado's unable to stop Lemieux. Permanent damage to the eye. And I think Rosado has earned the right to go out on pace. Jesse Reed asked for that as the loss to Joaquim Al. It remains to be seen if Lemieux can generate that kind of Oh, big left There's hook. A hard left hook by Lemieux, which stops yeah. Rosado in his tracks. To end the round. Hit him with the coming to 10. She may have it 88, 82 for the Muse. His right hand for years. What a light with that left hook. Yeah, he can punch with both hands. There it is again. There it is again. Left hook that ended the last round. Willis can't seem to make up his mind. I believe that's the doctor on the ring rope. And now the doctor the is up with the ring ropes. And it's over. Willis is going to respond to Dr. Barry Jordan at ringside. In Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the NABF middleweight champion, David Lemieux! Point that I want is Tua. Come on, man, let's get it on. Tua. What's your pick? I want to stop this man inside the distance. Oh, I've seen that Lennox Lewis fight, man, you took a hiding. There's bullets, but look at this, it's got lights on, little lights on it. Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen, it's going to be lights out. For David Tua, that's what's going to happen. A lot of people are counting me out, but uh, that's actually what gives me a lot more drive, so I thank you everyone for doing that. And uh, it's going to drive me even more to, to beat this guy. With 42 big wins coming by way of KO. He has 24 professional fights with 23 wins, one loss, no draws. With 20 big wins coming by way of KO. 
the point. Touch gloves, have a good fight. But now we just got to wait and see what happens. There's the first lift. He hold up against the power. There's the left hand again. They call him now. There's the left hand. You know, he's landed the left hook three times. Right hand on the left hook by one of the very best referees in the world. が2度目の防衛を果たせるかという試合になります。で、調整者がいかに入ってくるかですよね。2分が経過しました。お、いいでしょう。今のね、左。はい。身長差が12センチあります。チャンピオンとシーバー。攻めまして、画面から両画面から
trying to cut the ring off, and there's another from Cullum inside. Up with it, looking for that left hook, the check left hook. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, the push there. It's always been fantastic fight. Didn't have it his own way against John Dockett. And there's that left hook, stunned Yildrum for a second. The sun just starts to bathe both yeah. of these fighters. We've had thunderstorms and rain all week, and thank goodness for a bit of sun. Just he's moving there. He's got to be careful. He's got to watch out for that right hand. That's better. Move to your right. Love a step back from Yildrim there. There's a good left hook, and again, good work from Cullen. In the sixth round. And again, as oh, Andy said with Laura, hook. just staying small on the inside, oh. and then comes pick up though. Stiff jab. His feet a little too much here. Oh, good one too. Yildrim open as he let the hands go there. Rips in that left hook. So this is some oh. stiff jab. Beautiful short shots. Credit to Yildrim. He's come all night. And the new IBF International Super Middleweight Champion, Little Leaguers Mikita <laughs> 37 victories with 19 knockouts, only one defeat and one draw. He 25 fights, 25 victories, including 21 knockouts. From All right, let's get this thing on. Landing that solidly, but it's most of the punching is being done by Reese. What we're, we're doing is trying. Reese is a cocky little Welshman. There's a big puncher. But you heard the caution of Gary Lockett between rounds. Ah. 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 Reese dropping his hands and showing Broner his head movement. That he is one cocky little Welshman, and he has a sneaky quick. There's a body shot for Broner. Ah. Uppercut lands for Broner. Starting to get more accurate. Starting to pick Reese off. And start oh. coming in. There he is. Right uppercut towards Gavin Reese. Oh. He's hurt pretty big. That was in the 12th round after a long fight. Oh. Reese trying to get to those body shots again and slow Broner down a little bit. But Broner is getting into the target practice area. Fight just then. He did. He did. And the bad thing about it is that the son, it doesn't get better than this as far as an effort. Yeah, he's taking a beating at the hands of Adrian Broner, but he beat a lot of lightweights, and he's still fighting and still hitting Broner cleanly. He's an offensive fighter. He is there to try to knock his opponent out. Oh, oh. It was a low blow, but it was a body shot that Reese wasn't ready for. He thought it Now Reese is in trouble again. And Gary Lockett is up on the ring apron with the white towel. So there's the TKO as trainer Gary Lockett gets what he wants, stopping the fight from the corner. Earl still undefeated from Cincinnati, Ohio. Adrian, the problem.